please take a seat. So what do you have for us today? Um, I was hoping to uh, pitch a short story idea, a, a screenplay that I wrote. And uh, I just wanted to give you an idea about um, what the, what the story is about. Um, just start off with a brief pitch. Okay. Uh, right. Um, so to start off, it's, uh, it's a period piece. It's set in the late 17th century. And period uh, pieces are expensive. Okay. So it starts off um, with the two main characters. They're... No, no, I'm listening. Continue. Um, so, they're hungry, they're, they're, they're looking for food in the middle of the forest, and they, you know, they, they, they've been there for weeks, um, and, Listen. Listen to my voice, okay? You need to breathe. Tell them the story from the heart. Pitch it how you imagine it. Something compelling. Something deep. Something that they will remember. Now what I want you to do is take a deep breath, count to three, and open your eyes. I'm sorry. I need to start over. Why do you guys watch movies? What? Why do you guys watch movies? Is this an interview? You guys watch movies so you can be taken to a place you've never been before, right? Because you want to align yourself with characters that you see a little bit of yourselves in. Somebody you can relate to, with themes that are relevant to your lives. Well, this story is about two guys who are down on their luck and are thrust into a situation that they can't control. It's about loyalty. It's about adventure. It's about going with your gut feeling and doing what's right. Now imagine, we're in a forest in northern England and we've got these two Englishmen who are on the run from a recent plague outbreak. They're best friends, they've grown up together, they haven't seen each other in months. And then they run into a French woman who doesn't speak a lick of English. They don't know where she came from, they don't know who she is. But they soon find out that she's being pursued by a rogue band of Spanish mercenaries, whom of which have kidnapped her and she's escaped from. Now the question that we're left with is, do you succumb to fear and leave her to die? Or do you risk your life and help her because you feel that it's right? A little easier without the note cards, huh? A little, yeah. So, what's it called? I call it the Forest of Cumbria.